15, 9, 8, 7, 2, 3, 4, Sometimes in life, we find ourselves making very important decisions that can either improve or worsen our future. Andrew Jack found himself in a similar situation and chose to make a change. He decided to change his coach and prepare for the Arnold Classic 2023 with Chris Aceto, one of the world's greatest bodybuilding coaches. But did this decision lead to the desired results? We'll find out in the video, so stay tuned. Andrew Jacked is an emerging bodybuilder, born in 1992 of Nigerian origin and currently residing in Dubai. In 2022, he joined the ranks of the greats, achieving excellent results, winning the Arnold Classic Amateur in Texas Pro Bodybuilding, and placing in the top 10 in his first debut at the Mr. Olympia, a result that few have achieved in their first debut. After a 2020 that saw him grow a lot, he decided to change his training in order to improve much faster and chose Chris Aceto. Chris Aceto is a great bodybuilder, trainer, and nutritionist with successes including Jay Cutler, Mr. Olympia 2006 winner, Kamal El Gardney, Mr. Olympia 212 division winner in 2019, and Sean Roden, who won the Mr. Olympia in 2018, beating Phil Heath, a seven-time Mr. Olympia winner. With this impressive resume, Chris Aceto seems like the right person for Andrew Jacked. What do you think of Andrew Jack's choice? Would you have made the same choice? If you're enjoying the video, please subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what you think. For a new channel, and every suggestion to improve is greatly appreciated. Let's see how they prepared for the first competition of 2023, the Arnold Classic. Alongside Chris Aceto for these workouts, there will be Chris Lewis, another important figure in this industry. Andrew Jack appears to be very tired, but with Chris's encouragement, he manages to complete the workout. The muscle groups we see are the hamstrings, back, shoulders, and biceps. For hamstrings, we see him do these exercises. Lying leg curls, seated leg curls, standing one-legged leg curls. For back, Cable pull downs with rope, cable pull downs to chest, dumbbell rear deltoids, barbell rows on an inclined bench, dumbbell shrugs on an inclined bench, T bar rows. Five, four, three, four, three, two. The shoulders, barbell upright rows, low cable front raises in a superset with dumbbell shrugs on an inclined bench. Machine shoulder presses, standing dumbbell lateral raises in a superset with lateral raises with bands, only the upper part. Low cable lateral raises one arm at a time. Nine, 10, 5, 4, 3, 9, 10, 1. For biceps, low cable curls, standing hammer curls with dumbbells. We're used to seeing bodybuilders lifting very heavy weights that only a few in the world could lift. In this preparation, however, we see how Andrew Jack trains with low weights but high repetitions with short breaks, often with pyramid repetitions. Even in the past, Andrew Jack has said that he usually prefers training with low weights but high reps, especially when approaching an important competition. Two. Hold. Considering the results of the Arnold Classic, did the change in coach work? At this point in his journey with a new coach, I say yes. The third place is an excellent result, even though the criteria used by the judges are different from Mr. Olympia, as evidenced by the victory of Samson Dauda, who just a few months earlier placed six at Mr. Olympia, a victory that was certainly deserved. But we don't know if it would have gone the same way at Mr. Olympia. Andrew Jack's decision was made for long-term improvement that'll lead to great results over the months and years to come. This is just the beginning of becoming one of the greatest in the world of bodybuilding. The result achieved in the Arnold Classic is a great result, but it's not the ultimate goal. We will truly be able to evaluate if this change has been effective in the coming months, and at Mr. Olympia 2023, 
where we will have a real comparison with the previous year. Andrew Jack has just entered the world of professional bodybuilding, and until now, his growth has been rapid, and he has shown that he has all the qualities to become one of the strongest in the world and win a lot. His genetics are monstrous, the kind that haven't been seen in a long time. Now it takes time, dedication, and the right people to win the most important competitions. We have definitely seen an improvement in Andrew's training and commitment. The path seems to be the right one, and I'm his fan. So I hope he continues to grow, improve, and give us many satisfactions. Looking at how the Arnold Classic 2023 went, there are high expectations for Mr. Olympia 2023. All the athletes are improving, and the competition is expected to be very fierce. There are many competitors who can win the competition. Everything will depend on how they train during these months, and perhaps even Andrew Jack can give us great satisfaction. In my opinion, Andrew Jack will be ready to compete for the victory of Mr. Olympia from 2024 onwards. Our goal is to provide valuable content that highlights the main figures in bodybuilding and analyzes their life, diet, and training. Our channel is new, and if you enjoy our videos, please support us by subscribing to the channel. Do you have any ideas for videos we can make, characters to feature on the channel, or suggestions for improvement? Write them in the comments. It would be a great help.